Time now for At the Market from Neiman's Family Market in St. Clair. At the Market is brought to you by CTV Community Television for Marine City in St. Clair. St. John Providence Hospital. Now let's join our host for this week's At the Market. Welcome to At The Market. We're at Neiman's Market today and we are going to be talking to you about the Inn Kitchen in Marine City and we're very excited to do so. I'm here with my chef, Max Zimmer. Good morning. And together we'll um, put together a really nice dish for you, a little easy a summer little appetizer, side you know. dish, and give you lots of variations uh, for that dish as well. So come back and we'll talk to you some more. At St. John Providence, we believe it's important to have things you can depend on. Like knowing you and your family have access to high quality care whenever you need it. That's why our nearly 1,000 primary care doctors offer same day appointments and why so many of them are available nights and weekends. Which means that no matter where you are in Southeast Michigan, you're never far from care that focuses on the entire person, body, mind, and spirit. St. John Providence, believe in better. Welcome back to At The Market. Hello there, Max. This is Max Zimmer, he's the chef at the Inn Kitchen. Most of you know me from the Schoolhouse Grill on Harsons Island, and of course we're still there. But we've taken on a new adventure, and now I am co-owner of the Inn Kitchen at the Inn on Water Street, owned by Tom and Kathy Burton. Um, so, Max, today we're gonna put together um, one of our appetizers. Yes, we are. This is our creamy French feta appetizer, and this is a great summer dish. It's easy to do, it's easy to put together, but it's got some wow factor for your guests, and it's not something we have to do a lot of cooking. No. So it takes off for the summer heat, um, so that's why I like it. Yeah. I love it because it's a very fresh dish. Yeah. So um, before we get into that, um, tell us a little bit about yourself, Max, because you're my chef at the inn, um, but we have a great team there, and I just want everyone to know a little bit about you. So you went to school locally. Yes, I did. I went to uh, the Culinary Institute of Michigan. Absolutely. In Port Huron. Yep. I graduated last March, and I spent the past year approximately in Las Vegas uh, working out there, and I came back to Michigan, and now I'm at the Inn Kitchen. Absolutely, and I hope you love it. I do. And I think you do, um, and it shows in all of, of the, the teamwork in the kitchen and the great food that they've been putting out. So, um, well, we'll get started. And first, we're starting with some really basic ingredients, but if your ingredients are good, you're always gonna come out with a great dish. Um, we're using fresh grapes, and we're gonna do a little variation of a roast on these grapes. So. Um, something different for you to do with grapes that you might not be used to doing. Um, almonds, right? Yes. Slivered almonds. almonds. And then a creamy French feta. Uh, you could use cream cheese if you um, wanted to do a variation of this. Uh, maybe top the cream cheese with a crumbled feta if you didn't have something uh, with such a creamy consistency. Uh, you could also do a mascarpone. You could. Uh, ricotta. Um, so many variations of this dish, but we'll get started with showing you how to roast grapes first. So we'll just do a little sample of that. So this is a great way to just kind of get a little something different out of a grape instead of just having a raw grape on the plate. So basically we just cut them down the middle yep. and I like to do it on a bias so when they're sitting on there they're not just flat or they're not just a, a half moon shape. Right. So basically, we cut up a bunch of grapes. I'm not going to run through the whole bunch with you, but I'll give you the uh, there's not a that small much to talk example. About. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we cut up a, a few bunches of grapes. And the seasoning is very simple, just a little olive oil and just a little salt and pepper. And we roast them for approximately 5-10 minutes, and they come out to be a perfectly roasted little grape, a and little color. What's the temperature that we're roasting them at? Uh, 350 degrees. Okay. Just so pretty what comes temp. out of that is a nice, um, the roasted grape brings out the flavor of the grape, brings out more sweetness, uh, brings the sugars out of it. So it, it just becomes, uh, it's a, it's just a little, it's a different animal than what you're used to, or a different fruit <laughs> than you're used to. Um, so let's layer one of these together and we'll Alrighty. show how to, how to go about it. We can put that one right here. And we'll show you how to put this very simple appetizer together. And I do recommend gloves. It is a ready-to-eat <laughs> food. And also the feta is very messy. 
But so this is a French feta that we're using, and it's a bit creamier than what you're used to. Um, most fetas are a little more crumbly, but this spreads well. And it's nice for this dish to use uh, a more spreadable cheese. So the cream cheese, the mascarpone, the ricotta, if you want to mix them together, that's great. Um, you could do a crumbled blue cheese on top of cream cheese. I mean, it's endless. Uh, also, this little variation of ingredients would work well on top of a wheel of brie that you've heated up in the oven. So again, lots of different options here. All right, so we start with our feta and we just kind of spread it out a little bit. You don't want to pack it down so it's a little fluffier and it's easier right. to pick up this way. Right. It also is a very um, very easy dish to just kind of scoop with or use a knife or a spoon. You want a fresh, a fresh glove or you can? Yeah, a fresh glove would be fantastic. <laughs> I got that. All right. So the uh, in kitchen, we did our uh, grand opening. Just what? How long has it been now? Since uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, Frank Beckman came out. Uh, WJR did a great interview. We had fun with that. So we um, are a little over a month old now, and it's been going very well. I think very well received in the community. Um, and it makes a great place for people to put up their families and their guests. Uh, we have a hotel close to home now that we can utilize, and I think that's a, a great asset. Um, the Inn Kitchen is at the bottom of the Inn on Water Street. So um, if, if you're familiar with the area, as most of you are, the old Terhoon dealership is where the Inn on Water Street sits, um, right next to Holy Cross Church. So come and see us, because we'd love to have you. All right, what's next? And what I just did here, I put a little drizzle of olive oil and a little salt and pepper. Just kind of helps add to the uh, overall flavor profile here. And, and consistency it kinda... too, because you have crunch in there with that creamy feta or whatever cheese you decide to use. And the almonds we're using are Marcona olives, or um, almonds, mm -hmm. <laughs> not olives, Marcona al Although almonds. Although olives would be good too. Olives would be good. <laughs> They'd change it up a little bit. And they're actually a fried almond yep. instead of a roasted or a baked so they have a very unique flavor when you yep. bite into one opposed to a normal almond you can tell they're amazing actually and they are fried in olive oil they're just because how can you go wrong really uh -huh. all right and next we add a little few of our roasted grapes just a little sweetness on there so again it's about texture it's about balance um, cream cheese crunchiness in the almonds a little bit of sweetness from the grapes makes for the whole um, experience. And then the next we use uh, honey, do a little drizzle, add a little bit more sweetness. Goes really well with the cheese. Yep. And we don't go overboard with it, just enough on there to get a slight glaze on top. And then for a little bit of color on here, we do some microgreens. And they do add a little more freshness in the flavor as well. You yep. get those and it kind of has that outdoor summery feel to it. Yep. You, could, you could use an um, edible flower here too, a pansy out of your garden, um, orchids. There's a lot of edible flowers. Look them up first. Don't just go pick any flower and put it on something. <laughs> but even roses, I mean, if you chop them up and did a little garnish with this, it would be really summery and very cool. All right, and to finish off the top here, we use a little lemon zest and it just kind of brings everything all together. So we just roll our lemon down the zester so we can get nice little strings of lemon instead of just, if I do it fast, we'll just get little chunks, but it looks much better to do it that I mean, way. there's a technique here? There is a, a, a small technique. And for the, uh, the side, you can really do any type of cracker, warm bread, or... Apple slices. Yeah, you could do fruit. Fruit would be fantastic. A pear along with it would be great. <laughs> and generally we use, um, flatbread crackers or non bread. And what I like to do with the non, I like to uh, put it on the grill for a minute with a little olive oil, salt and pepper so it's nice and warm, a little crunch around the right, edge. Right. So you can kind of very nice get very some nice. warm bread with your cheese. And we just kind of stack it on there at the end for beautiful snacking. So it's an easy put together appetizer. You come home, you're a little late, whatever, you know you have guests coming over. It's very simple, but again, has some wow factor, some great flavor. I'm sure your guests will love it. Thank you for coming with me to do this today. Of course. Uh, again, please come visit us at the Inn Kitchen uh, at the Inn on Water Street in Marine City. And um, here's to a great summer ahead, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for joining us at At The Market.
To get great care for your everyday life, you need more than an everyday doctor. You need one that listens. And that's just what Ascension Doctors at St. John Providence and Crittenden do. Listening to you helps us see your whole picture. More conversation, more back and forth, more questions and answers. That's what helps us understand all aspects of you and your life. Find a doctor who is right for you at stjohnprovidence.org slash doctor or crittenden.com. Welcome back to At The Market with Kristen Bain. Nice to see you, Kristen. Thank Welcome you. back to the, uh, Thank I think you. It's the ninth season for us and about the third, second or third season yeah. for you. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And your life is changing and growing and, and Absolutely. getting fascinating every day. <laughs> Well, I like when you put it that way. That's that <laughs> makes it sound more glamorous than it really is. But yeah, talk um, to me about uh, you got the Schoolhouse Grill. Yep, absolutely. On Harson's Island, which is just a, a great spot. Thank and, you. Uh, Thank uh, you. We love it. The food is wonderful. Thank you. Mary Ellen and I, my wife's off, off set here, uh, went over one time on a Sunday for breakfast, and it was unbelievable. Good. It's a great Good. breakfast. Good. Just, but you never think of going. To a yeah, place like it's that kind for of a, breakfast. It's kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of a day trip, if yeah, you will. Yeah. And you can spend some time on the island and take a ride around and, you know, check out all the scenery and watch the freighters go by. Yeah. Um, our place is unique in that it's the five acres there. Um, it's kind of a farm setting, if you will, in the backyard with yeah, a big yeah. garden. Um, but we have a nice um, uh, waterway that runs through there now, which gives us a little bit of zodiac and fishing boat traffic, um, kayaks and paddle boarders alike so it's been really good okay. um, and we've got uh, some great events coming up June 2nd we're doing a kickoff concert we're having a little reggae concert in our backyard oh, so that'll be a lot of fun starts at five o'clock on uh, June 2nd and then of course we do our Roots Music Festival every yeah. year that's July 28th this year and then of course the In Kitchen we yeah. got the In Kitchen started and so the Burtons, Tom and Kathy yep. Burton, yep. who also happen to have a place on their own place on on Harsons, on Harsons Island, Island, absolutely, uh, uh, picked you to to run an establishment <laughs> called the Inn Kitchen. Yes, and it's just a, a wonderful addition to the Blue Water area. Thank you. I what, hope what, so. Talk to me about the menu. Well, the menu's um, it's it's small but mighty. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, a lot of you know different choices on there. We do a mariner's catch, uh, fresh fish each week. We do a different cut of beef each week. Um, other than that, we have some great open face sandwiches at lunchtime and uh, Wiggly's corned beef and oh. um, some great appetizers like yeah. we did today. So um, a great variation to the menu, great wine menu, kids menu. Um, and then on uh, Sundays, starting 10.30 to 2, we do a brunch. Oh, really? And so there's about five items on our brunch menu service to the table. Yeah. Wonderful. So we're trying to cover all the bases. Those and um, those uh, waffles? Yes. Oh. Yeah, the Monte Cristo waffle. Oh. Yeah. Those are amazing. I will be yeah. down. That was kind of a, a brainstorm between uh, Max and I. And, and just, you know, you can't go wrong with sweet and savory and, yeah. you know. Max, uh, you are from the Blue Water area. Yes, I am. And you went to the uh, Culinary Institute up in Port Huron. Yes, graduated from there. You also had gone to Risa uh, Culinary Arts. Yep. Back so. in high school, I, I did the two-year program there. And then I actually, after I got out of there, I went to um, St. Clair Community College, got a different degree, and then got oh, really? back into the culinary world by going to the you Culinary Institute Can't get Institute out of the kitchen. Michigan. <laughs> nope, they can't keep me out. They can burn me and cut me all they want, but I'll come back. <laughs> Lucky so you, you went us. to Vegas, you said, for a while, for a yes, year. Yes, I did. And then came back and you got together with Kristen? Yeah. And you're at the Inn Kitchen. I am at the Inn Kitchen. Kristen contacted me um, about, it's about three months ago now. Yep, yep. And we sat down and we talked and we talked about the menu and what the goals were and what was going it's to be kind happening. kind of an instant camaraderie, I think. It really you know, and was. It, it was just because we feel the same way about food and, and how it should be cooked and presented and um, and that you have to love doing it. Yep. And, you, and the all, passion shows in the that's food. That's right. That's absolutely for sure. correct. Well, good luck to you. You've got a great teacher here. Oh, she's wonderful. She's teaching I, me a thing or two. Well, I, I noticed today in the, in the first segment when, when you, you were watching over him, you love to cook, but you had the ability to stand back and watch him and enjoy what he was doing. I yeah. mean, that's a sign of a good yeah, teacher. And, it, and it's it's what's really been great about it is I still cook at the schoolhouse. I have a great a chef there as well. Um, but I get behind the line there because I'm needed there. Max doesn't need me. <laughs> <laughs> I need you, stop. No, he, um, you know, I put the menu together, but he executes it along with his team just famously. And um, 
it's nice to be able to do that, to just watch them do their thing and step back and let them do their thing and let them bring their creative flow to it because yeah. that's what it's all about. You can't keep a good person if you don't let them no, that's right. explore and, that's do, right. and do what they love to do. So that's, right. um, that's what we're trying to do at the Inn Kitchen is and the programs that he's been through um, locally are, you know, they're, they're needed because it keeps good people like him in the community working yep. and doing what they love. And that's uh, it's a great thing. Well, we're glad you're here. Me too. Uh, coming up next week uh, on At The Market mm -hmm. is uh, Pat O'Connor is going to be our new, new host this year great. from the St. Clair Chamber of Commerce. And she's got uh, a friend of hers, uh, uh, Salufo, uh, who in the two of them are going to cook for us and also host nice. and the following week we've got uh, neiman's family market oh they it's do their be here for memorial day memorial celebration yeah right yeah. So. Excellent. excellent so you can say goodbye goodbye <laughs> and come join us again at at the market thank you very much good good job wow you're just a natural girl <laughs> you've been watching at the market from neiman's family market in st Clair. at the market is brought to you by st john providence hospital and CTV Community Television for Marine City and St. Clair. Join us again soon for another At The Market.